Hello, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We have come with another information. And uh, this is a confirmation that uh, you cannot cohabit with Fulani. We have told you, Mazi has already seen it. What Mazi Namde Kanu is crying about in 50 years' time, that is when you will start seeing it. What Simon Eba is fighting today. In the next 50 years, that is when you will notice that, ah, this guy, you tried. But no, now your eyes are not yet cleared. Why am I saying this? It's because they said Sunday Iboho, the Yoruba former agitator. I will put that because they are no longer agitating. Or Shechen or Zihanaka, they stopped agitation. <laughs> Sunday Iboho. He said, uh, let me read as it is here. They say, Yoruba Nation Agitator. Sunday Adeyemo Ibuho has issued a fresh warning to Fulani headers suspected of involvement in numerous killings and abductions of uh, residents of Oyo State. His spokesperson, Olo Koiki, delivered this notice in an audio message shared with our reporters on Monday evening. He stated that Iboho has mobilized his followers to enter forest in the Oke Ogun area of Oyo State and remove all Fulani headers residing there. Yoruba right activists accused these headers of continuous abduction and killings of residents in Oke Ogun. Speaking in Yoruba, Koeki said today, is the 15th of July 2024. This breaking news is issued around 6 p.m. All Fulani people living in Okeogo, living inside the bushes there, who are kidnappers that are killing the people, are immediately ordered to leave now. Sunday Iboho said he would continue his work at Okeogo in Kishi and uh, all communities that made up. Okay, Ogun. He said he will touch all those places remaining. All Fulanis should leave the bush in Okay, Ogun. The forest does not belong to you. The land belongs to us, he added. That he is also waiting for the Obas in other parts of Yoruba land to speak up if they are witnessing attacks from Fulani people. He said... He was ready to chase them away. He promised to flush all those miscreants, preventing Yoruba from assessing their farms. He said he is not fighting, fighting with any governor, but he said his men will storm all the forests presently occupied by headers across the Yoruba land. But he said waiting for permission from other Obas in Ondo, Ogun, Ekiti, and Osho State. He said his men are currently working on how to storm the forest in Okeogu land in Oyo State and warn all Fulani living there to vacate immediately, Kai Koiki stated. <laughs> we told you. Thank God it is happening again. They have now come back to agitate again. Had it been they continue with the pace where we are all going, something would have happened. But no, their own is give me piece of bread. I will sell off this struggle. Just a piece of bread. Give me small token. I will sell off and sabotage evil effort. I will kill evils. I will burn their shops. I will do this. I will do that. That is their own. But now, thank God, Mazinam de Kano is whiter than snow, very straight, very plain, you know, very steadfast. He refused to stop. He refused to sell the struggle. Even in DSS custody, he refused to sell the struggle or to soft pedal it or to give it up. That was actually what that was actually what Iken Gurago was trying to do. Trying to make him to sell it off. 
by asking people to tell Onyendu to tell them if Onyendu was the one sent that sent Maze Simon Eba, he said to be killing a Nigerian army. And I asked, Nigerian army that cannot battle kidnappers, what is their use? What usefulness or what of what use are they? If you will not answer me, this Nigerian army that you are trying to save today that are not against Fulanese, that are killers, abductors, terrorists. If you are not against terrorists, who will you now be against? Indigenous people? The question remains unanswered, even in Nigeria. We are telling you that in as much as the military stop doing their work, then they are meat. They will go in for it. Because if you refuse to secure the people, the people will defend themselves. They will carry guns. And whatever that is moving in the bush is a meat already. So that is why we are giving kudos to Simon Eba, the one that did not allow the struggle to leak dust. He picked it up again and started. Oh my God. God will bless our Prime Minister for standing out this time. When it mattered most for Biafrans, he stood up and he took over this mantle, hitting his chest every day. I am the one. I am the face of Biafra. Whatever I am doing does not cause Simon as in Amdekano. So, don't give him. Leave him alone. Face me. If you know how you can bring me back, come and bring me back. If you know how you can abduct me, come and abduct me. That is what Simon Eba is proving to them. He's telling them on daily basis. And they're shutting up. So now, tell me, what would the Yorubas do? Is it to start agitation or to still believe in one Nigeria? Because their brother has given consent to the curation of life, uh, Ministry of Livestock. Their brother, Bola Ame Tunubu, has given his consent. Have you seen it? That is it. So they are now in confused state as they have ever been. Because they easily give up on things. They don't believe in hope. They don't believe in faith. They only walk by sight. What they are seeing is what they understand. But what is ahead of them, they may not understand it. Look at it now. Kidnapping still ongoing in forest, killings of innocent indigenous people still going on. And yet, the herders are in your bush. As what? What are they doing there? Land they cannot buy. Rent house like Igbos are renting from you. They cannot rent. And yet, you love them more than you love the Igbos. <laughs> hey, wonders they say shall not end. Wonders they say shall not end then i want you to please help me to share this very news like and also remember to share god bless you